Badger Private League 3 is upon us, and I invite you to come and join me for a Path of Exile League like you've never experienced before. Introducing Badger's Invitational. Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and I am back and ready to announce BPL 3 Badger's Invitational. BPL is a Badger private league, and it is all themed around team-based play. So what exactly does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about that right now for all of you. Some of you have played the uh, first or the second BPL, so you will know kind of how this works. But there's a lot of new information in here as well, so keep on clicking through. And if you're new to BPL or anything like that and don't know what it is, it is an extremely fun league that is open to pretty much everyone. Uh, well, not pretty much everyone. It is open to everyone, uh, and we hope you very much enjoy this league. So let's get into it. What is BPL? So the biggest thing about BPL is it is a faction-based PoE private league. So a league held within Path of Exile's leagues uh, that you can craft and create, and you start all from level one with no stash or anything like that, and it is a soft core league as well. The point system is based on cumulative levels and delve depths, plus more, which we will talk about further in as well. It has a duration of one week, and it is nothing like anything you've experienced in PoE before. Uh, usually most people play PoE as a very solo experience. This is completely based around team play. We're not just talking, you know, a group of six people that you can invite to your party. We're talking about a team of hundreds of people uh, organized all together through my Discord and everything like that, where there's a link down below. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's keep moving on. So the start time for this league is Friday the 26th of February at 7 p.m. GMT. Now this is about 6 a.m. for me in Australia here, and it's around about the usual time that normal league starts to happen, so just to try and keep it, you know, uh, the same for, you know, everyone around. So it's going to be a 7 p.m. GMT start for all of you, so hopefully you can make it. How will the private league work? How will BPL work, and especially this BPL? So each player is randomized into one of four different teams this time around, up from two from the previous leagues. These teams will be themed around the new boss fights. Team Formed, Team Twisted, Team Hidden, and Team Feared. Uh, so you will be randomly assorted into one of those teams. The team splits will happen once every 24 hours, round about until one day before league start. Uh, or, you know, one day to 12 hours before league start. Um, it will periodically, you'll be let into the league through the Google form uh, that you will fill out down below if you want to start having a look at that, and you must fill that out to be uh, accepted into the league. Now, specific classes can only be chosen for each team, which is going to be explained later in all of the team sections, and points are cumulatively scored based on four point systems. Levels, Delve Depth, Boss Unique Set Collection, and First Boss Kills. So we're going to be going over all of that as well very, very soon. Let's jump into the rest of it. So, Team Feared. This is the first team, and members can pick from these four classes within Team Feared. Ranger, Witch, Templar, and Scion, plus all of their ascendancies in there as well. Team Formed can pick between Duelist, Ranger, Shadow, and Scion, and all of their ascendancies. Team Twisted can pick from Duelist, Witch, Marauder, and Scion, and all of their ascendancies. And Team Hidden can pick from Templar, Marauder, Shadow, and Scion. So there's basically quite a bit of an overlap there, but this is to create a little bit of uh, asymmetrical gameplay between the different teams. And let me tell you, BPL1 and BPL2, we had some really, really interesting teams. Uh, basically, the teams that we thought had the weaker ascendancies did end up winning, which was really, really cool. So don't worry too much about power levels here. Uh, it's really much based on how much people want to invest into it. Uh, but we tried to balance it as best that we could, and there is overlap there as well. So there's two ascendancies in or at least two ascendancies in um, uh, a spoon across uh, each league. Basically, what I'm trying to say there is an ascendancy crops up twice in uh, each of these classes. Uh, that was a really roundabout way of do uh, saying it, but uh, you could look back through if you need to. The point scoring system is based on, as I said, four different variations of points. Boss unique item sets, cumulative level scoring, solo delve depth, and first boss kills. So let's just go through all of them here as well. So first of all, the boss unique item sets. Teams will race to collect as many boss sets of uniques as a team. There's a full list on the next slide. We'll just have a look at it. 
Points will only be counted for each unique if you give it to your team captain. So they're going to store it in their unique stash tab. And if you want it back at the end of the league, you can just tell the captain and they'll put a note on the unique. You'll just get it back if you ask. So don't worry about losing that unique. Another interesting thing here is if you find a unique that can be scored, but you want to use it for your build, you have to decide whether you're going to keep that for yourself for your build or whether you're going to give that to your team uh, to be able to score with that unique, which is quite interesting. Now, points are scored per unique item, so no more than one stored per team. So the unique tab can only fit you know, one unique uh, in it. Um, so you're not going to be able to score a bunch of points if you collect, say, like a bunch of uh, the uh, Escher's mirror or anything like that, right? Uh, and you can't store it in your own unique tab. As stated, it has to go to the team captain. And all of this team captain, all of this kind of stuff is going to be uh, found through the Discord. Now, I'm going to plug the Discord again. You will very much want to be a part of this Discord if you want to participate in the league and uh, know what's going on, know how to be sorted into your team and everything like that. Join the Discord link below and uh, definitely click uh, through everything that you do need to there. Now, points, uh, bonus points are scored for being the first team to collect a set. So what do I mean by sets? So obviously there's a lot of bosses in the game. We chose the kind of most uh, end game bosses, I guess, uh, or some of the end game bosses, especially uh, themed around the echoes of the Atlas expansion itself. So the actual point values vary between sets and weighting is in full on Discord. We don't have the weighting of the actual points here, but we have all of the items and the sets. So you've got the breach sets of Zoff, Tool, Esh, Ulnatol, and Chalupa, as we've got it here, but Kaula. Uh, we've then got Maven uh, set, Shaper set, Elder set, Uber Elder set, Synthesis, and Uber at Ziri. So obviously some bosses are more difficult than others, and some bosses have more uniques than others. So the weighting very much changes between all of those bosses. We've tried to think of the best way that we can go about that. But yes, the full um, weighting is on Discord if you want to jump and have a look at that. So second point system is the leveling point system. Like previous BPLs, your team will score points for every level you go up. Only your highest level character will count, and characters will not count if they are the wrong class for the team that you're on. So make sure to double check. Now the point system scales, uh, it's a little bit different to how we've done it in previous BPL, uh, BPLs based on uh, feedback. You do get one point for every level up to 85. Extra point bonuses for 85, 90, and 95 scaling up, and five points per level above level 95, full details of the scoring on Discord. One thing not actually mentioned here that I completely forgot to put in, is you do get an extra two points for every 10 levels that you go up, up until around about 85 as well. So that, you know, also encourages through the leveling process, if you're someone who's a lot slower, you're still going to be earning bonus points every 10 levels that you go up all the way through the story. So don't worry too much about like, oh, all of the points are in the end game. A lot of them are in the end game, but you can still give a lot of points to your team, even if you just complete up to say level 70, kind of at the end of the story, right? So uh, that's, that's pretty good right there. Now, the third uh, point system is solo delve depth. We have changed it a little bit from last time uh, to not put so much emphasis on the delve because a lot was put last time and it kind of burnt a few people out. So let's have a look here. Delve depth point tally starts at depth 100 and solo delve only counts. You can still work as a team to gather sulfide, etc., but each player can only score points for their individual depth per player. So you get four points per 25 levels starting at depth 100, a bonus four points for 300, 400, and 500 depths, and a massive team bonus of 300 points for the first team to get a player to depth 750. Now, above uh, like 300, 400, 500, you're still gonna get like, I, th I think we're still gonna get bonus points of four per 100 after that. So you can still keep going up, but the big thing is the first person to hit 750 with someone on their team gets a massive score of 300 bonus points right there, which is uh, not insignificant. You should definitely eye that one out. And the last thing is the first to boss kills or boss kill bounties. So the bosses are Kayula, Shaper, Uber at Ziri, Uber Elder, and Maven. So Kayula and Shaper give 150 points each. Uber at Ziri, Uber Elder, and Maven give 300 points each. And so it's a total of 1,500 points um, and only for the first kill. The kills must be submitted in the kill submission part of the Discord and the full list of rules is there. Uh, so to be able to uh, be the first person to kill that and claim that bounty, you do have to post it in the Discord there as well, or have someone post it for you or record for you or everything like that. That's the whole point scoring system. Um, to put it in context, last league, uh, and the league before, um, there were, I think the first league, about 350 people, second league, about 750, 850 people. 
uh, and the points were within 2% of each other in the final tallies. So uh, we're even trying to craft it. So, you know, those big points that you do score here from boss kill bounties could push you over the edge if you get a few of them or anything like that. And it's going to be really, really interesting to see if, you know, one team just smashes all of this or they're kind of evenly distributed. It's going to be very, very fun. Now, what are the rewards? I'm sure you're all wondering what the rewards are. So there is obviously, being in a league like this, uh, there's, you know, going to be one team that wins, right? And unfortunately, I can't give a monetary prize to everyone on a team because that could be up to 500 people in the league. Um, but for the team-based rewards, you're going to get things that are through uh, my Discord and through um, uh, stuff in-game and everything like that as well, which is a special Discord role in my Discord channel for the duration until next BPL, so you can basically boast in there and show off. You do get access to my self-crafted loot filter sounds, uh, which you can either make your own loot filters with, or there's basic ones there that you can uh, play around with. They're usually only restricted to Twitch subs and patrons, uh, and I do compose all of the music or sounds in those loot filters myself, so definitely check them out. You do also get access to my super cool self-crafted hideout. You can check it on stream. It's kind of like a mad scientist experiment theme hideout, and I'm pretty happy with it. And any other hideouts that I build in preparation up for BPL, you do get access to those hideouts there as well. Now, on an individual-based uh, prize system, this is where the monetary prizes come in. Uh, and the biggest prizes are not for, you know, getting the highest levels or anything like that. It's actually being the MVP on your team. What does MVP mean? Obviously, most valuable player, but it's chosen by your team leader um, who will uh, notice, you know, who's giving the most to the team, who's helping people level up, who's, you know, helping arrange rotors or everything like that, getting groups of people together, has a really positive attitude, all of that kind of stuff. Um, it's based on the team leader's discretion. So there's a, a MVP, which is going to be a $60 supporter pack, and a runner up MVP of a $30 supporter pack. And there will also be a highest level supporter pack as well, or first to 100, which will just be $30 as well. It's not the focus of this league, but if you're, you know, one of the few people who really like to push to 100 in a league, you can go for that and you can try and get that first to level 100 or highest level at the end of the league as well. So you can definitely uh, try to attempt that one. How do you join? Now, this is the biggest part, uh, and uh, this is very, very important as well, all of this, to follow this correctly. If you don't do this correctly, you might not get into the league because we are hard capping it at 2,000, which is 500 per, uh, people per team because it's a little bit hard to arrange a full team of more than 500 people. So a full cap at 2,000 people. So get in first and foremost in the Google form below. There is a Google form. This is your first... Uh, uh, kind of point uh, of contact for the league. You fill in the Google form, it's super quick, super simple, and then uh, you'll go into the waiting list for the league. If you fill in the Google form, if you're one of the first 2,000 people to fill in the Google form, then you will be accepted to the league, and that's totally fine, that's absolutely cool. Um, and the applications do close 12 hours before league starts. Now, that Google form as well is also going to have a part for you to put your Discord name in there, um, and joining the Discord is very, very, very highly recommended. Um, if you don't join the Discord, you're going to feel very much out of the loop with your team. Uh, and even if you're not like a team player, you're not really going to be talking much, even just looking over what your team's doing, going into, you know, the secret global channels that your team's going to uh, develop, some spreadsheets. The teams love to make spreadsheets and everything like that based on the previous BPLs. Definitely check all of that out. The Discord is the best place for you to be for this league. You will be periodically led into the league every 12 to 24 hours and sorted onto a team. So as we check applications, we'll ping people through the Discord uh, and you can go and uh, see if you're let in into the league or randomized onto a team there. Um, all right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Join the Discord once again, join the Discord. And once the league starts, name your character starting with feared underscore for feared alliance, formed for formed, twisted, hidden, you know, just basically write this. It just basically means, it's not gonna mean that your character is completely out if you don't name it like this, but it's very, very much uh, recommended. Please name your character with your team name at the start, hopefully in all caps, so people can just do a quick glance at you and see what team you're on. Now, once again, if you're trying to trick the system or anything like that, and you're playing a class that's outside of what your randomized team is, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to score any points. It's all automated and we can very much flag if people are doing the wrong thing or anything like that. So we're watching you. Uh, so it is for other people to know what alliance you're with just by seeing your name. 
Uh, how do you know you've been accepted into league? Well, just right here, you can go to pathofexile.com, log in and go to your account name, go to private leagues and then see uh, if you're into the league itself right there. That's the previous league there, Cops versus Robbers. But this league, the Badgers Invitational, um, uh, will hopefully have a lot more people. So share this to everyone that you know, share it around. Um, uh, if you are streaming or content creating, there will be a Discord channel, uh, or a Discord kind of text channel, or a couple of them, where you can post your stream links when you go live and everything like that, and a separate channel for posting highlight clips. Depending on the number of highlight clips I get, I will be making daily highlight YouTube videos, so definitely make sure you clip and ship it. Uh, you don't want to miss out those sick drops and showing the entire community of all of those. So once again, go join the Discord from the link in the description below. So what do you have to do? Fill in that Google form, go join the Discord, and then await further instructions. Um, if you're watching this video right on release, uh, the Discord might not be fully set up and uh, we won't have randomizing going just yet, but just wait in there. You can go into the uh, discussion section, talk about the league, ask questions that you want, anything like that. That is totally fine. And we're there to answer as much as you can, uh, as we can. Just a couple of questions to end with. A lot of people have asked about BPL, whether they can join as a group or with a few friends to be randomized onto the same team. Now there's more of an explanation in the Discord for this, but unfortunately we're still not allowing this in the league. And the main reason is we want BPL to take you out of your comfort zone and be a community driven league. If you're joining with a group of friends, you're most likely just gonna be playing with that group of friends and not interacting with the rest of the league. Uh, and to be honest, getting randomized onto different teams with your friends is extremely exciting. Competing against your friends in a league like this is so much fun. And we've just had so many people say that they've been split up, their groups have been split up into different teams on previous uh, leagues, and it's just been the best thing they wanted to be split up. So uh, that's basically the be all and end all of that. We're not going to be randomizing that. If you don't get a class that you want, or you've never played a class, I urge you to just try a build uh, you can always ask in the dis uh, the Discord channel for you know recommendations on builds for classes you might not have played if you got randomized onto a team that has a class you've never played. So just ask about it. We're here to help. This is for everyone. This is for fun uh, and also a little bit of friendly competition. And lastly, merch. We have merch. As you may have seen the special BPL logo at the start of the video or the thumbnail, uh, I've also turned that into a bit of merch. So there is a link down below. If you want to be able to help BPL even further or rep BPL on your uh, on your own body uh, or with a mug, um, I've got some coming in the mail myself. I have actually selected all of these. There's also like a die cut sticker that you can purchase as well if you'd like to. Now, a disclaimer, they may not arrive, depending on where you are, they may not arrive in time for BPL, even if you purchase right now from seeing this video. That being said, uh, they will be timeless because BPL is going nowhere. There will be one BPL every single league for the foreseeable future. And so if you wanna pick up any of these, uh, um, hopefully semi-affordable uh, t-shirts or jumpers or mugs or anything like that, link down below. There's lots of different colors as well, ranging from the green to blue to black to uh, white as well as you can see here. Uh, so you can definitely go check that out. And uh, yeah, everything that you uh, purchase here will go directly to supporting BPL, uh, both this league and in the future leagues as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. That was quite a lot of information. If you made it all the way through to the end, comment down below uh, with, let's say your favorite type of cocktail or mocktail if you uh, don't drink alcohol. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, come to the Discord, say hi. If you've got any suggestions or any questions or anything like that, it's the best place to be. Click those links below, sign up link, merch link and Discord link is all down below. And you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash thisisbadger for all gameplay. Plus a bunch of other streamers I know will be playing. Perry Pig, uh, uh, Perry the Pig, sorry. Uh, Bala Mage is gonna play. Uh, I think Tai Tai might play a little bit, Tai Tai Killer. Uh, and a bunch of other people as well um, are going to play this league. So definitely get into it. If you wanna help or support me or the league, uh, basically there's Patreon link down below. You can come say hi on Twitch, even a follow there, or a sub down below in YouTube is really, really nice as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, just thank you to everyone who has supported me thus far, and let's make this BPL the best BPL we have ever experienced. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and until next time, Badger, out.